what, what a boring product to add to a $300 mystery box. Today's video is brought to you by Bright Cellar. Stick around and see how you can get 50% off your first six bottle box of wine. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Oh you guys, okay, so I did something silly. I did, I'm... Why are those two gnats flying like that? There's two gnats in here and they're flying. Okay, you guys, so uh, I've done something that I probably shouldn't have, which is common on this channel. You know, if you've been around here for a while, there's probably been several times where like, what'd you do that for? And I'm like, I, I don't know. And I guess this could be considered one of those times. So a little while ago, this has been a little while ago, Charlotte Tilbury released some mystery boxes. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Charlotte Tilbury is a fairly expensive makeup and like, I think they do skincare too, right? Like skincare beauty brand. And uh, I received several messages like, hey, are you going to be unboxing the mystery boxes from Charlotte Tilbury? And being so incredibly easily influenced and thinking that would be good, you know, content for my channel, I went ahead and I purchased both of them, uh, which was like $300 worth of mystery boxes from Charlotte Tilbury, otherwise known as Charlotte Tilbury. So I made the purchases and then, you know, things have been pretty hectic recently. I'm opening a brand new store. I'm getting married, trying to go to Vegas, trying to go to Europe. Like things are, there's a lot of stuff happening, right? So like I'm, my, my, my brain is fried. <laughs> it's very much so fried. So even though I did receive the like $300 worth of mystery boxes that I paid for, um, they just, they, they sat in this box right here. So they sat in like the shipping box that they came in. I looked at the label and I said, oh, it's from Charlotte Tilbury. Then I put them in my uh, filming room and then I didn't look at them again until this moment, which I'm very sorry about because those of you who did message me about these boxes and asked me if I would do them and I said, yes, I am going to do them. And then I didn't until now. I am also sorry because these are kind of like old news now. People have already done these unboxings. But the thing is, um, I paid $300 for the two of them together and I just feel like it would be an insane waste to not make a video about it for you guys. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna look at like what what $300 can get you at the Charlotte Tilbury. Holy guacamole, I never realized how much Charlotte Tilbury emailed me until this exact moment. August 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 6th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, twice on the 13th. Charlotte, why are you keeping secrets from me? How much did I pay for your things? Ah, okay, so I bought the Mystery Box Duo. I don't think you save any money doing it that way. I just went ahead and did it that way. Um, it's supposed to be worth $513, but I paid a mere $256 for it, which I guess is enough to get me free shipping on the website. That's good to know. Um, with my tax, it was $15.36, so a total of $271.36 for these two mystery boxes. So just a little shy of $300, a little less than I thought. That's good. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into... I thought that was just on the top get on into this. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the extras that you get because, you know, when you spend nearly $300 on two fairly small, light-looking boxes worth of makeup, uh, they send you extra product, so that's good. First free item with purchase that I got was the Hyaluronic Plus Happy Kiss Color Balm from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Romance Kiss. I'm hoping it's a bit lighter or maybe not super pigmented because um, that's a bit pink for me. It does come in very pretty packaging. It has that, like, standard Charlotte Tilbury little like starburst thing on it. Okay, it does work. <laughs> it does actually work. The shade does look a little bit more muted and perhaps more rosy than the uh, sticker did. The sticker looks just a little bit more on like the peachy side in person, um, but I still think this might just be a little bit too pink for me, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna pop that lid right back on there and see if anybody wants this. And then the second free with purchase item that I received is this color-coded eyeshadow palette. So I think this is gonna be just like a little quad of eyeshadows. I'm kind of excited about this. I'm excited to see what the colors look like. Oh, okay, so these are very pretty colors. Um, I used to be really, really into these types of like reddish, like pinky shades on my lids when the Modern Renaissance palette first came out years ago. Like that was my face every single day, every day, because I loved that palette so much. And anytime I see shades like kind of like this, it always reminds me of the Modern Renaissance palette. Uh, but yeah, pretty cute and it's nice that it was free. All right, let's go ahead and get on into the meat of it. Um, so we have two mystery boxes here. This one's pretty lightweight, not gonna lie. And then um, this one is also pretty lightweight. So they do have different names. So this one here is the Makeup to Mesmerize box. And then this one over here is the Magic Skin Glow Mystery box. So 
I don't know if one of them is just gonna be makeup and one of them is gonna be skincare. Before we get on into the video, I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Bright Sellers. I am so excited to be working with Bright Sellers again. They are truly one of my favorite sponsors to work with. And I know my mom is like pumped because uh, she saw the box of wine like waiting for me to unbox it and she has asked me 10 times since she has seen that box of wine. When you do it the video because she knows that she'll get to try it after I like, film the video. When we have family dinners like with my parents and my fiance, I like to bring over wine for everybody to try. And Bright Cellars is a fantastic way to get that wine. They are a super unique service because they match you with wines from small vineyards all over the world that are curated to your taste. They feature hundreds of exclusive wine brands to so be able to try wines that you've never tasted before. Another little fun thing is that every box comes with wine education cards. These little very cute cards give you information about each bottle of wine, such as tasting notes, just pairings, and the origin. Bright Cellars also offers a variety of sustainable brands and their packaging has the smallest carbon footprint in the industry and is 100% recyclable. A couple of wines that I was matched with include Gladiolus, a white blend from California that has notes of peach and nectarine. You guys know how much I love peach so I'm really excited for this one plus the bottle is just like so pretty. Alanim, a dry white from Spain again with notes of peach. Woohoo! is so very excited about that. Again the bottle is just so pretty. And then also Hazel Air Orosan. Uh, yes I did look up how to say that and I still don't think I'm doing it right. Which is from California and has notes of pineapple, guava, and tangerine, which sounds super refreshing. Today I am trying Gladius because one, the bottle is super pretty. I'm very intrigued by it. And two, I'm just really excited about those peach nectarine notes in this wine. So I'm hoping those come through very strong. I am so happy to be working with Bright Sellers again. Sponsors like them just really help making content possible. And you guys can also help support the channel by supporting Bright Sellers. So I just want to say thank you so much to Bright Sellers for giving my followers a limited time offer of 50% off your first six bottle box. I just think that is a fantastic deal so be sure to click the link down below in the description to see what wine suits you best. We're gonna go ahead and start with the potential skincare box just because I don't want to like in this video being like oh it is well skincare. I always get more excited about makeup than I do skincare so we're gonna go ahead for this one first. Ah uh, it does look like we have a fair amount of skincare in here. There might be potentially a couple of little makeup things, but maybe not. Ooh, okay, you know what? This actually seems kind of interesting. So the first thing we have in here is a skincare item. This is the Super Radiance Refurfering Faithful. Resurfacing, resurfacing facial. It has 15% AHA, BHA, and PHA, which is something I've never heard of before. I've heard of the first two, but I've never heard of PHA. And it has exfolactive in it, which sounds like a made up word, and a uh, Charlotte's Magic Serum. So there's like a whole lot of stuff in here. Oh, there's like two little thingies in here. Okay, so we have one tube, and then in the corner, there's like another little box. Oh, okay, so I thought this little crystal serum was just like kind of mixed inside the formula, but no, there's like a tiny little box of it. How cute. <laughs> It's itty bitty, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty precious. Um, very small. You know, it it is very cute and precious. I do love tiny things, but you would think for the price of this box, maybe they could have put like a full size one of those in, perhaps. I don't know, maybe. Or like maybe even just like a tra a travel size. Um, but it is cute. It is very cute. This is supposed to be for younger looking miracle skin. Oh my goodness, those words are too small. Massage a few drops into clean skin morning and evening before your magic moisturizer. Um, it doesn't tell you what it does, but it says it'll make your skin magical. And then this is the actual like resurfacing a serum here. It does look like we have a full size. All of that sounds super nice. I'm very curious about what a PHA is, but um, I, I, yeah. Skincare. I could use more of it. That's for sure. Apply weekly. Weekly? You only put this on once a week? Oh, you put it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse with warm water before applying magic skincare. They're very into like you making sure you use your entire magic line of skincare. Well, it's nice that you only have to use it once a week. I'm assuming it just like burns off the top. That's probably why you only use it once a week and you avoid your eye area. I'm pretty sure it's probably just like sizzling off that so like a top little layer of skin. I'm sure it's good for like anti-aging and making your skin all nice and smooth. So exciting. Can't wait to burn my skin off. All right, next in here. Okay, I guess this can like ride the line between makeup and skincare. This is the Brightening Youth Glow Brightening Color Correcting Primer. Um, That sounds pretty interesting. It does a couple of different things. It's supposed to be glowy, I guess. It also color corrects and makes you look young. I really do like the pretty 
rose gold writing that they put on here. It's very shiny and pretty, but the way my lighting is set up, like I can barely read it. I mean, it's really hard. <laughs> it's supposed to visibly brighten for a firmer, younger looking color corrected plexion. Plexion. Not complexion, just your plexion. It instantly blurs the appearance of aged spots, blemishes, and redness, which that sounds actually pretty nice. I'm not a private person, but I do have a good amount of blemishes and redness and things, and I am kind of looking for something to make my skin look nicer, at least just for my wedding day. I can become a private person for like one special day, I guess. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little tube of it. It's kind of like a more firm squeezy tube, but um, yeah. Primer. Okay, next up I assumed this was gonna be in one of the mystery boxes because this is kind of like the big ticket item when they're doing anything with Charlotte Tilbury. Advent calendars, mystery boxes. This is a very expensive cream. It's the Charlotte's Magic Cream, I do believe. And I just feel like it always ends up in their stuff, which I mean, I guess is good because it does hold a pretty high value. And I also like how the box opens. So like it slides open like that and I don't, for some reason, I think that's pretty fun. And then it's like a little, you know, it opens up like that. It reminds me of uh, that MASH game from when I was child. So yes, this is the Charlotte's Magic Cream. I do believe this is the full size and I think it is like a hundred dollars plus or very close to being a hundred dollars. Um, it does have a pretty strong scent. I think that Charlotte Tilbury's skincare stuff is fairly heavily scented. So if you are not into putting fragrance on your face, I don't know if this would be the line of stuff for you. Yeah, like even with the little protector on it, I can smell that rose just like pouring through. So it is a nice item to have because it is pretty valuable. Um, I haven't used used it to the point where I would know if it really makes a ton of difference for the cost. It's supposed to make you very like dewy and luminous and youthful looking, which all that sounds fantastic. So maybe I should give it like a really good try. I think one of the reasons I honestly don't use it that often because I have received several um, bottles of this before in the past is because the smell is so strong. And to me, there is like a very strong rose undertone, which I just Mm. Oh, I just like the smell of it just actually hurts me. <laughs> it makes me like bleh, and it also gives me a headache. Okay, so the next thing in here, I picked it up and I was assuming it was gonna be like a standard sheet mask, but it felt um, not wet. And typically there's like a gushy feel to masks, but this is very interesting. So the next thing we have in here is the Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. And I have no idea how that's supposed to work. It's supposed to hydrate, visibly smooth, brighten, lift, and reduce the appearance of wrinkles. How? This is science that I don't know of. I, don't, I know nothing of this science. I've never heard of a dry sheet mask until like this moment. Do you just slap it on your face dry? How does it even stay on? Oh, oh, okay, interesting. All right, so you unfold it, you pop it on your face, then you massage it to activate and leave on for 15 minutes. So I'm guessing like the warmth of the massage like activates the stuff in it. And then it says you can use it up to three times. I don't know if that sounds very sanitary, but it is nice that you can get multiple uses out of one mask. I don't know, just very interesting to me. It's something I haven't heard of before, so fascinating. Wait, what? Why would, why would they send two primers? Why would they do that? Why would they have a skincare box that costs that much money that they would send two primers in? Surely they have something else in their repertoire of skincare that they could have sent us. But anyway, the next thing we have here is the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. So yeah, again, another primer, uh, which for me especially is just not very exciting. This one I'm sure is supposed to do like a different things, but uh, let's go ahead and see. Powered by a fluorescent core that re-emits light around the face to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and imperfections, this glow primer gives the complexion an all-over soft focus spotlit effect. Which honestly just sounds a little bit kind of like the other one just with different words. Luminous, make your wrinkles go away, that kind of thing. All sounds very similar to me, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, and it's tiny! Okay, I guess I should have realized it was tiny from the size of the box, but it's tiny! So here is the second primer in this very expensive box. But you know, this one is actually different because it is small. It is travel size for the first one was full size. So, yep, differences. And then last but not least, at least I think so, uh, we have what looks to be somewhat of a makeup product. So it's exciting. Ooh, this is the Collagen Lip Bath Collagen Enhanced Lip Plumping Effect Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Walk of No Shame, which again, it looks fairly pinky. So I'm hoping it's, you know, a bit like diluted and kind of like clear see-through. Oh, 
It's a little heart. How cute. I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see that, but the top of the applicator looks like a little heart. That's adorable. Oh, I'm not sure if it's intended to look like a heart, but it does and it's pretty cute. Hmm, there's a nice like minty scent to it. The color in the actual tube and like on the wand looks a lot more appealing to me than the sticker did. So I am going to try this out. I do already have like lip color on, but it looks like it's going to match pretty well. Oh, it matches very well actually. Yeah. Well, I thought, you know, the little heart applicator, which looks less like a heart now that I've actually taken off some of the product. I thought it was pretty cute, but I don't know how I like the feel of it on my limb. <laughs> like two tiny little hard, but yet soft fingers. All right, you guys, so I actually had to pause filming for just a little bit. And during that time, I discovered that my lips looked far too pink for my liking. So I think it was the lip stain that I had underneath this lip gloss because I, I couldn't find anything else. So I just slapped something on my mouth. So I have scrubbed it off as best as I can. I'm gonna try this again, just on its own. Just over top of that other stuff, like I feel like it was intensifying the pinkness of it. So this looks pretty nice to me. It is fairly pigmented. I do think it could even be still just like a little bit pinker than I typically go. I go for a very, very neutral lip. Like I want it to look like it's just my mouth. That's like, it's just shiny. Like my mouth, but shiny. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead here and move on into the second box. I'm assuming this is gonna be a much more makeup heavy box. Hopefully not primer heavy because I already have two of them. One is big and one is small, but there's still two. Ooh, this looks kind of intriguing. Oh, okay. The, yeah, this box was fairly light and I, I think I know why because <laughs> the products in here, um, there's not that many. There aren't that many products in here and they some of them look a little on the, the smaller side. Some of them also look a little bit on the, the familiar side. So we have a, another Hyaluronic and Happy Kiss lip color balm. This one is in a different shade though. This is in the shade Happy Berry, which I personally think I might like this shade better just based on the sticker. Oh, there are the two boys back there. Hi boys. <laughs> Say hello to everybody. Tater wants nothing more in the entire world than for Rin to play with him and Rin just wants to lay and just be, be unbothered. But Tater's just very full of spirit. He doesn't give up and he will still attempt to get Rin to play with him even if Rin tries to bite his face. You boys behave back there. Right, so the packaging on this one looks the exact same as the last but the color is definitely definitely different. This one is a much more deep color. Um, I'm assuming because it's a balm it's not going to be crazy pigmented so I am going to swatch this one. Oh, I'm so wrong. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> You have to suspicious things. Yeah. Okay, that is actually a very, very pigmented balm. I thought that was gonna be much lighter, but no, even just like the lightest hand that is quite colorful. Um, I'm a little bit sad that I did swatch it now because this just seems a little bit too pigmented for me. Again, I like a very, very light look on the lips. I need to keep some like napkins or something. I'm just gonna like lightly, lightly tap it on and see if we can get kind of a sheer look for this. Just like, oh, so barely. Oh, ah, and my tooth. Even just like barely, barely dabbing it on, so much pigment comes off. See, I just, I like my lips to look like this. Like they're almost like they're so chapped, they're red. Or like you were once wearing lip color and then it, most of it came off. That's kind of the look I go for with my lips. So for me personally, that's how I would apply this. Like barely just like, like that's it. Any more heavy handed than that and you're gonna end up with like a full rich lip color so I can try out the full rich lip color now and see what it looks like. I personally do like this on the lips but we'll see what this looks like like full intensity. Oh like guacamole that is a pigmented lip balm. I just feel so weird with like a really intense lip color on nowadays. Back a few years ago you know back in the day when like matte liquid lips were popping that was what everybody wanted to wear. I was wearing like deep dark like dragon's blood red liquid <laughs> with lipsticks I was wearing like purples and stuff and now like if it barely looks like I have lip color on I'm like this is too much like at the start of this video like that was too much color on my lips but I didn't have anything else to put on them so I was trying to like just get a color on there but for me even though this is nice and comfortable because it is a balm like there is some like you know slippiness to it it feels nice and hydrating I just feel super weird wearing this much color on my lips that being said I do think it is a very nice color it's a very nice kind of like rich red berry. I think it's a beautiful shade. I think it would be really nice for like the fall and winter seasons. I just personally feel odd and <laughs> just strange when I have this much color on my lips. So we're just gonna go ahead and just work that right off so you can continue the video. I instantly feel better. I instantly feel better and more like myself with just like the rem remembrance. The remnants of the color on my lips instead of like that full intense shade. All right next up in here this is really pretty packaging. It looks like we have another lip product but this is a tint so that's exciting for me. 
and it's kind of like a dual action thing because it is for lips and cheeks. This packaging is very much like, this packaging is like not what I'm used to seeing with Charlotte Tilbury. This reminds me of like Too Faced or something. It looks very Valentine's Day-y. And I guess I get to try something else on my lips. This is in the shade Bohemian Kiss. If this one's super red though, I probably won't try it on because I don't want to be super wasteful of something like I'm not actually going to use. So these are the Tinted Love Tints, which I think is pretty cute. Like Tinted Love instead of Tainted Love. Yeah, that's kind of fun. And that looks pretty intense as well. I'm not really sure though. I can't really tell if that is the applicator or the product or is it both? I don't know. The very tip of this brush looks um, almost like a brick red and then the rest of it is kind of like a burgundy maroonish like valentine heart red. So maybe they are different. Should I try it? I guess so. Let's go ahead and try this out and see how it works because I have been saying that I like something more tinted. So why not go ahead and give it a tint to try? Ah! Oh! Okay. Okay, so this one still is just like a little bit too bright for me. I like neutral lips. I don't know why I like neutral lips so much, especially recently. But this is still a tiny touch bright for me, but I think I like the formulation of this one. It is so incredibly sheer. It does make my lips tingle a little bit. Not sure what that's about. So the next thing we have in here, I ugh, just a, what a boring product to add to a $300 mystery box. You could have put anything. You could have put anything in here. You have an entire makeup brand and you picked like one of the, the, the most boring products you could to put in this box. That's a little frustrating to me. There's like, they have I'm sure tons of eyeshadows, different lipstick, like their pillow talk line is huge. And instead they decided to put in a clear brow gel. Like I'm sure it's a fine clear brow gel, but like you can get that anywhere. Like that's not something fancy fancy or special like for Charlotte Tilbury. So this is what it looks like and it's just, it's just look, it's a clear brow gel. I'm sure it's fine, but you know, I feel like probably most clear brow gels are, are fine. You know, if it's just something they're not like known for. At least I don't think. I don't really, I don't keep up with the Charlotte Tilbury that much. So maybe this is like the best brow product ever, but it just doesn't seem very exciting <laughs> to put in a mystery box like this. Oh, this I am excited about though. So we have something from their Pillow Talk line, which is very well known in Charlotte Tilbury world. Uh, this is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Blusher, which I am quite excited about. I love a nice glowy blush, so this could be really, really pretty. I got mine in the shade Pillow Talk, so <laughs> that's a very good shade. Ooh, fancy little compact there, very pretty looking. This just looks quite elegant to me. It reminds me of like excusing yourself to go powder your nose, that kind of thing, you know. Oh, interesting. So that is what the blush looks like on the inside. It does look very reminiscent of like their Pillow Talk lipstick, kind of that more like mauvey dusty shade here and then in the inside it looks like we have something that's a little more glowy perhaps like almost a lighter highlight shade but it doesn't look super highlighty just running my finger between the two i am actually a little bit worried this is going to come off kind of chalky just because of that center shade um i think the outer shade like the actual pillow talk part of it would be really pretty but that inner shade looks like it's just gonna make it chalky this comparison will probably be pretty hard to see on camera but this is the two shades mixed together and this is just like the outer rim by itself. I personally prefer the outer rim by itself because this one does give me more of like almost a chalky highlight feel, whereas this one looks more of like a glowy blush. So I'm a little bit sad actually that that center core is in there because I think just like the outer portion on its own would be really, really pretty. But swatching it with my fingers might be entirely different than using it like with a brush on my face. So I will give this a try because I've already dug my fingers into it. Um, but I do kind of wish it was just that like deeper portion or on the edge. Alrighty, and that brings us to the very last item inside of the makeup mystery box. It also brings us to Jimmy revving up his lawnmower at 7 p.m. on a Saturday. Jimmy, take a break. <laughs> you deserve to rest, my guy. Just take, a, kick your feet up, watch your shows. The grass will be there tomorrow, I promise. This is the Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes Are Forever. Um, I think the looks of the palette are really pretty. Ooh, those shades are quite interesting. Ah, okay, so we have like different eye looks in here. We have love eyes, power eyes, happy eyes, and confident eyes, and they all have their own little color schemes. I personally am a fan of like this green combination, and maybe this one as well. Ooh, some more very classy looks looking at her packaging. I like all those little, you know, like starburst lines there. Something about the shape of these palettes also just takes me back. Like, look at that. Look at that. That just reminds me of like 2000, whenever I started YouTube. I had amassed a collection of like just the cheapest palettes you could find. Just like the absolute cheapest ones on the internet you could find and they all looked exactly like this. And then I got my first like naked palette and that was mind-blowing. Palettes that are arranged like this with like kind of the skinnier shades and the 
these long palettes always remind me of that. So we have our little sections here with like the love eyes and then the, you know, the other ones. Power eyes, happy eyes, and confident eyes. Yeah, I definitely prefer these little sections here out of all of them. Um, it's a pretty looking palette, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's anything like revolutionary. Um, I don't really know too much about Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. Hopefully they perform really well. Each of them seem to have like shimmer and a matte with them. So actually two shimmers and one matte. This shade here in like the love eye section is kind of interesting to me because that's kind of what I want my inner corner to look like for my wedding day. Oh, and love eyes! That goes really well together. Um, so maybe I will use this palette like literally for this shade because it has like a really nice luminosity to it with just like a hint of glitter and it's not too gold and it's not too pink. So maybe I will use that for my wedding day. And I do think I could get some use out of the other shades in here as well. Um, these happy eye shades are like very much so up like my fall alley. Loving that like kind of deep rust red. So there are some pretty shades in here and I'm sure I could get some use out of them. All right, you guys, so that's everything in the two Charlotte Tilbury mystery box. I'm so very sorry these are very behind and everybody else has already opened theirs and this is probably very old news but I just couldn't let those sit there in that box for any longer and not do a video on them for you guys. So even though it might be kind of old news I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah that's all I have for you all today so thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me and I just hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye! I literally ran out of breath.